G'day folks, I'm Swiftjar and I hope you're all doing very well. Hello. Welcome back to the Miniature Analysis and Comparison series. This series is a bite-sized serving of the main series on my channel, titled the Analysis and Comparison series. The miniature version of this series simply just focuses on all the changes that we can spot in the teaser trailers for Mario Kart Tour's new tracks. As per the title, today we're going to be exploring all the changes that we can spot in Mario Kart Tour's version of Snowland. Please know you can use the timestamps below to skip to any certain point of the video, including the giveaway at the end, and of course our new memberships we now have available. So grab your snow boots and let's jump straight into Snowland. Snowland debuted in Mario Kart Super Circuit and is presented as the first course in the Star Cup. It has since been remade in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and will soon be released in Mario Kart Tour's 2022 Holiday Tour, alongside a very cute Lemmy Alt. As per its naming convention, Snowland is a winter themed track. In fact, it's more than that. It is a complete winter wonderland. The course is lined with snowmen, icicles, and even little adorable penguins. The track makes you feel like you're one with nature, as the background only contains glaciers and the surrounding snowy mountains. This is perfectly encapsulated by the peaceful purple hue sky. It really just caps it all off. The main threat in Snowland is the small cracks within the ice. Besides that, the only other hazard in the track is the adorable little penguins. Accidentally bumping into a penguin will cause us racers to spin out, and of course feel extremely guilty. As mentioned previously, Snowland returned in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe as part of Wave 2 of the Booster Course Pass. Here the course received a major visual upgrade, and it now features more elevated portions like in the remake of GBA Boo Lake. The most amazing thing here is, despite the redevelopment of the track, the course's layout still remains practically identical to the original. The only major change was that the ice path and the shortcut in the upper right portion of the track were removed. The track's redevelopment brought several new visual features with it. Firstly, the track's road is now an actual road, which is shiny thanks to the cold weather. The track also received its very own unique starting banner, a bridge that connects the first and last bend of the course together, in the middle of the track is now a frozen lake, with a giant crack in the middle of it. I also love how they gave Snowland's background more life. They achieved this by adding more trees, allowing the penguins to waddle around the course freely, having the GBA coloured blocks line the track with spectators, and even having the icy spires in the background have a purple hue, along with the skybox. Oh, and I have to mention the new ramp they added in just before the bridge. This can be used as the shortcut and it's really fun to do. The reason I made mention of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's changes is because Mario Kart Tour is practically using the exact same design for Snowland. Snowland in Mario Kart Tour continues with its more cartoony art style, and I find it extremely charming. Despite the change in art style, there are actually a few minor differences in Mario Kart Tour's rendition of Snowland. The first change I noticed in the trailer is that the main road of the course is no longer shiny, and it's now more of a snowy path, like the one we found in the original from the GBA. Probably the biggest change of all is to do with the frozen pond in the middle of the track. And unlike Mario K Deluxe, there is no longer a hole in the ice. Instead, it has now been covered up with snow, and it now features a Christmas tree in celebration of the holiday tour. Thanks to the only knuckle who pointed out in the Swift Cafe Discord, there now appears to no longer be colored blocks in the lead up to the icy pond. Make sure you're in the Swift Cafe Discord to join in on all the discussion, race in our upcoming time trial competitions, and even feature in a future Swift Jar video. The link's in the description below. There also now appears to be ramps just prior to the frozen lake section, and there also appears to be dash panel ramps when exiting it. The item boxes also now appear to be stationary, unlike in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And finally, it does appear that the large ice glaciers in the background don't have their purple hues anymore, but thankfully though, the skybox still does. And that's all the changes that I could spot in Mario Kart Tour's version of Snowland. Let me know down in the comments how you feel about Snowland coming to Murray Kart Tour, and of course if I did miss anything. As mentioned earlier, memberships are also now available on this channel, and the giveaway will be going live on my community post on December the 10th. Just make sure you subscribe so you're in the running. Please remember to like the video if you did enjoy it, and subscribe to be sure you don't miss the other track analysis videos. Thank you! Until next time, take care and goodbye.